Hello everybody. So my friend DNA Fox and me started this project last year and we thought we'd talk a bit about it, how it evolved, what we did for it and how we came up with the uh, idea in general. Vicente, what do you have to say? I think the... Well, first of all, let's get this out of the way. One of the things that I've noticed most commonly in the comments is that most people don't understand the correlation as to why these two battle. So I, I was like, hey, I, I, I'm the Naruto fanboy in this group uh, for the writing mm -hmm. process. And I was like, hey, I really think Naruto has good potential for a rap battle. And Dustin was like, okay, give me a synopsis of his story. And I was like, well, Naruto, he grew up hated by his villagers because of the uh, nine-tailed fox inside him. And he went to grow up to become supremely respected by his villagers. And Dustin was like, got it, Hercules. Yeah, exactly. Zero to hero. <laughs> so, um, yeah, basically, for my side, in general, I didn't do this because I wanted to do a Hercules battle, but in general, I um, loved Hercules as a child. Uh, I love the Disney movie. I love the songs. Go the distance, and yeah. <laughs> 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 and um, I even went into the cinema for the 2014 rock version. Oh Jesus! I just realized we forgot to reference the rock. Anyways, um, <laughs> which wasn't the best movie, but it was pretty all right for me. So um. I love the fact that like I had a cool matchup for Hercules and this is like a mutual project. So I really had to dive into Naruto and I really invested time into watching Naruto and getting into the whole thing. It's not my series, like I don't love it. I can definitely understand the appeal, like objectively seen. It's uh, mostly a really, really good series, I think. Like. I have so many friends that are fans like in real life and online and I can I can see that but it's not my cup of tea I guess and yeah I, I had the Hercules knowledge I really dove into the is that the uh, past form of dive uh, dove into yeah. the um, historical facts of Hercules and tried to incorporate that like I made sure okay if I use Hercules people would be pissed if I only reference the Disney thing plus like the mm -hmm. Disney story could maybe fill up a verse um which it did like naruto's first verse mostly shows the disney stuff and that's what we, want, what we wanted to try to do because like naruto and hercules well let's say that the, the the disney hercules looks the most like naruto's portrayal so i thought like okay this is the perfect opportunity for an amv battle and this was the first amv battle that i edited on my own because i wanted to try it out from what i've learned from past year and in my opinion it worked quite well still has flaws but it was pretty fun um came out great well i'm super happy with it it currently has like what almost 60k views or something it, it's doing pretty well i think writing wise this was a huge challenge for me because I was stuck on a lot of stuff. I had the issue that a lot of um, smaller things about Naruto were very easy to this and had like some really nice um, funny jokes incorporated. And the main big things about the Naruto story were kind of hard to phrase into a funny joke. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I had the problem, like, I had some, uh, I think the first verse I finished was Naruto's first verse. Like, while we're talking, I'm gonna cut that, like, a few times and show, like, some demos of, like, the yeah. early demos of this progress, because the verse has changed a lot. Um, yeah, there was a huge evolution. Mm-hmm. I think we took around three to max four weeks to write this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was around a month. This was like basically my quarantine battle since like I spent most time of my yeah. of the early quarantine times doing this. Um, One of the things about this battle that I, it, it it felt different uh, writing from the other ones is because when I was when we were writing like um, Woody versus Chucky or Mr. Bear versus Freddy Fazbear, we got we, we sat down one day and we just spent hours just going at it getting really good lines and getting on a that nice roll we so never had a day fun. like that in naruto yeah we never like, had a day like that in this battle 
like I started the production on Woody vs. Chucky like uh, spring, summer last year. Yeah, it was shortly before I traveled to uh, the USA. So like in July. Mm. And I had a good like draft of the half of it. And then I was like, yo, Vicente, do you want to help? Do you want to come in here and let's see if we can do something together? Then we mm. sat down in one night and we wrote the entire rest of the battle because we had idea after idea after idea. We're like, oh, this is funny. This is great. So like basically yeah, it snowballed. Yeah, basically we finished up Woody's first verse then wrote the entirety of Chucky's second verse and then also like it was I think 2 a.m. I was like come on we can do Woody's second verse let's do this and then two more hours that we fucking uh, tweaked down uh, Woody's second verse cranked it up I think Adam did like a few small adjustments to the finisher at the end but like we basically had the full draft that day and I'm like yes finally yeah. it was great and then I was able to but fly to USA with a finished battle with Naruto versus Hercules, I don't think there was a single day that we wrote more than three or four lines. Like, it was yeah. slow. So what happened then, like, when we had those lines there, because, like, the group I was writing with, like, I, I usually do, uh, do a group chat, like, uh, in my production area, I just ping people, like, yo, uh, who wants to help with this battle, who knows about them? And they're like, okay, I'll help, I'll help, and then I gather, like, five to eight people around that. And it was like just us two and two other people, I think, who were active. And then once we had like a good draft besides Naruto's last verse, because I cranked down Naruto's last verse uh, at the end. Only dish fire when your kids are at the end of it. Pay for your habits for all the pain and the panic. Became insanely pathetic and tried to make it romantic until you change every man. So consider yourself a mighty god. With all the slaves you own, you turn Olympus to a Nike shop. Um. We, I sat down almost like, I didn't want to scrap the battle, but I was like, oh, I'm so tired of this, this is so stressful. The next morning after sleeping over the whole draft we had, I decided like, okay, fuck it. I'm just gonna completely destroy the verses, put the jokes apart, mark down which ones I don't really like yet. And then I put the verses together in a completely different order, completely different structure and everything, and the whole battle got, like, Frankensteined. <laughs> the weekend speak, your lunch to me. All I see is a bunch of ramen noodle arms sucking up to me. I beat bulls and lions, the fucks is nothing to slay down. I'm taking more swings than your ass on the playground. We teach kids the most aerodynamic run for when they're trying to infiltrate Area 51. I'm Olympic Pro League, you're sitting in the nosebleeds. I'm a hot tongue like roast beef, repetitions for your nosebleeds. You're gonna see stuff where my fist come merging. I learned a lot about the zodiac, and you look like a virgin. The slasher hate me being great, but simply my true fate. My legacy inspired tickets, you can't get a single day. They don't want you on Olympus. I've heard a lot from Hermes. Kicked on the face of the earth, they almost called you herpes. You said my destiny is written in astrology. But never saw yourself owned by the Death Star Company. Your half a god, the truth is, the other half's a nuisance. The only time when you resemble Zeus is when the boost is. Can't get off the shit, off the toads that I'm carrying. Only know how to break shit that explains four marriages. Then. Yeah, I think writing for Naruto was easier because he's dissing Hercules and I knew more about Hercules. And plus, like, Hercules' history is, like, so disgusting that it's so easy to actually yeah. diss. The whole slavery thing, the whole thing with, like, the four wives and that his mother hated him. There was so much stuff that was, like, possible to be dissed about. And then we had Naruto... Where it's like, yeah, you have the main story with the Sasuke uh, thing where they uh, were halfway friends, halfway enemies. And then at the end, they like Sasuke finally realized like, wow, I've been a dick this whole time. Fucking kill me, Naruto. But then, yeah. Um, but I mostly wanted to address the um, Sakura thing because yeah. like... I saw throughout the series that Naruto always went like, Is this a date? Are we going on a date? Are we going on a date? And then later in Shippuden, it was like, Yeah, Naruto, um, uh, I want to be together with you now. <laughs> no, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> and then I was like, okay, we have to fucking diss this yeah. because this is hilarious. Um, mm -hmm. But I sadly concentrated on that more than the actual main plot thing. But that's how it went. Yeah. Well, because Naruto, oh. it's, it's not... You can't find a very specific plot. Like, you can't describe the entirety of Naruto in a sentence. Naruto is just a big amalgamation of smaller plot lines. 
And yeah. that is what was really hard to do about it because because of this amalgamation thing, there are so many important aspects to the series that we, we couldn't hit all of them. Yeah. We couldn't hit all of them. I would like to point out what the beat did to this battle. So, oh my god, yeah. This beat, so far outside of one that I'm using in the future this year, might be the favorite one, like my favorite one ever. I know mm -hmm. that in the last verse it was quite loud, a lot of stuff came together and some people pointed out, yeah, it was quite hard to understand, I'm like, yeah, I know it was like the 14th master of the whole battle because I tried to work around with the volumes, the drums had to still bang but not overshadow the uh, vocals, then I wanted the violins and the orchestra and the choir and everything to still like shine through the whole thing, be in the background, and then still be quiet enough so it doesn't distort, then it get mastered again and again and like we went through so many processes with this audio, even like after I finished editing I was like, ah, I kinda wanna change it a little in the audio, I'm like, ah. Yeah, the like final, in, at the end, the yeah? final, the final um, version of the audio that was used in the battle was finished literally the day before the battle. Release. Yeah, like we used a completely different version the entire time I was editing it. Like at the very end, I was like, yo, those pizzicato strings kind of sound fucking fire. So like I wanted to turn up those pizzies over the whole verses. And like they were really loud at the end, but like still working. And I was like, yeah, th this this is the mood of the battle. Like these pizzy strings, especially in in Hercules' first verse, really carry the battle. Like in this kind of um, war mood, like like dangerous mm -hmm. kind of vibe, uh, and really like trying to be heroic. And I love the beat though. Yeah, Amazing. I love it too. It's 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 basically also Frankenstein together from three producers. So the general normal beat was from insane beats then the drums the marching drums here in the second part are from kelly mac i think yeah and then uh the orchestra added is from my friend seb because i was like yo i gotta embrace this orchestra and really get it through sh let, let it shine through because this story really needs an orchestra like if you re-listen to the songs of hercules you you know what i mean maybe it could have uh yeah like needed a bit more brass but i think it was pretty full already mm. yeah the, the draft was really different but from the very very start i knew that at one point in naruto's last verse it's gonna be built up he's gonna like be really weak or something and like whisper almost and just talk not really rap where there's no drums and then it's gonna be pure silence and he says something really powerful when you get him at the end of it! And then pff, yeah. the whole beat drops and he's just like busting through. I hope that worked out. That was like the main aim of my battle that I wanted to do. Like I, I thought about, hmm, should it be something with like an army behind him screaming? Like, oh, I don't know, like like everyone, like the Avengers storms in, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, I don't think it would have worked. So like this was basically how I think the best version of my vision from the start could have been. So I'm really happy with how that part turned out in particular yeah there was definitely a uh like a day or two there where i was thinking like i was going to play the nine-tailed fox and mm -hmm. be like voice alongside naruto when that beat drop happens when your kids were at the end of it you know yeah i tried it out but but it it sounded off to me probably because i've yeah. listened to the normal version so often but it just did not sound right to me um mm -hmm. I would say the video, the video took uh, 12, 13 days for me to edit, surprisingly. I was like calculating with around like three weeks, maybe even more. But like I was finished pretty early. Maybe it was a bit more actually. I think I started like April 4th, April, f April 5th, I think. And I finished on April 21st. Well, that's around 14 days. Okay, so two weeks. Yeah, um, so I spent every day like I think around six hours, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more, um, editing on this, and my aim usually was always to like finish four more bars per day. Sometimes I was like not motivated and only finished like two bars, and sometimes I was like, okay, fuck it, let's do this one more, and then like suddenly it was seven bars finished on one day, yeah. And at the last day I was like, okay, Intro, outro, and these last six bars. Let's do this. 
and then like 10 hours throughout the night i cranked the last part together and i was like it's done it's exporting the issue yeah. yet is that, that i haven't learned yet is perfect masking like obviously every clip is masked out and i try to do it as clean as possible but it's still not perfect like you gotta try to do it exactly on the black uh, on, the, on, the, on the black outline of the character but sometimes it shines a bit over it or a bit under it and it's like eh. but whatever mm -hmm. it takes it takes such a long time which is why live action uh, editing is so 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 much more fun for me because you just have to apply the key light boom it's keyed out and then you can do the performance cut and uh with amv you spend most of the time literally roto brushing keying and masking out every single shot to have it like separate from the background and yeah uh, i don't want to do a lot of those but when i do that alone again maybe i'll do one per year like one next year but i really want to do a lot more live action first of all because it's way more fun for me second of all because it's easier and third of all because the audience also likes it more than amv so like there's literally no reason for me to reverse my decision what else do you have to say about the video or about the the storyline the video definitely came out a lot better than i was expecting my expectations yeah. weren't as high as it came out Mm -hmm. um everything pretty much everything was very clean everything came out really lining up well with the lines yeah. um we the last thing we ended up doing was the intro and outro sequence pretty much yeah uh, true you I, helped I, me I, with I, the intro yeah yeah i i came up with the idea like the title cards from each series like we we'll use the title card from hercules let's make that the intro let's mm -hmm. use the title card from naruto and i chose the 16th intro from ship it in because that's one of the like most popular ones and mm -hmm. i took that and i changed it so that it's a title card yeah that that's how it came together and then god it was it was not a long time after easter i think and then it was done um and yeah to give you guys a little insight how that happened otherwise i would say goodbye uh that's everything for me get any last words um subscribe to freshy canal yes subscribe to freshy <laughs> canal and subscribe to erp news <laughs> um and what is a podcast form with dna fox in it without a traditional <laughs> that pepsi sip. slur that fucking slur okay i'll i'll get my water <laughs> fuck <coughs> get in the wrong pipe German sparkling water. I still don't understand it.